Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the power stages of a DC motor. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic, power stages of a DC motor. Before going to the power stages, we see the losses. What are the losses available in the generator or motor? Both are same. So we have three different losses available, copper loss, magnetic loss and mechanical loss. Now we will see these losses in detail. So the losses takes place in the DC machine. DC machine means it can be used as either motor or generator. <laughs> copper loss, iron loss or core loss or magnetic loss, then the mechanical loss. First we will see the copper loss. The loss takes place due to the current flowing through the winding is called the copper loss. That is the winding available in three different places that is an armature, either armature copper loss, IA square into RA and field winding it may be series field or sun field. So sun field copper loss ISH square into RSH. Similarly series field copper loss ISC square into RSC. The loss due to the winding of is nothing but a copper loss because windings are made up of copper. That copper available in armature as well as field. Field may be series field or sand field. Then iron loss, core loss or magnetic loss. The losses include the hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. These losses are due to the rotation of iron core because due to that it is called a iron, iron loss or core loss. Iron core of the armature in the magnetic flux of the field poles. These losses are almost constant. Now we will see what is eddy current loss and what is hysteresis loss. So hysteresis loss, this is due to reversal of magnetization of the armature core. Every portion of the rotating core passes under N pole and S pole alternatively thereby attaining N and S polarity respectively. The core undergoes one complete cycle of magnetic reversal after passing under one pair of pole. So this loss due to the reversal N pole and S pole is alternatively we are making the arrangement to in order to get the attraction and repulsion then N pole and S poles are alternatively produced. So due to this reversal, the reversal of magnetization of the armature core, the loss happened that is called a hysteresis loss. It is nothing but it is B power 1.6, B max power 1.6 F into V. So formula for the hysteresis loss. Then we will see the eddy current loss. When the armature core rotates, it cuts the magnetic flux. Hence EMF is induced in the body of the core. Right? This armature conductor, armature while rotating, it cuts the flux. Actually, the field coil should cut the flux, armature conductor, but core also cuts the magnetic flux. So, due to that, EMF is generated. So, which causes a current to circulate in the body of the core. So, that current is called eddy current. So, due to that eddy current, some losses will happen. So, this is a formula for the eddy current. So, these two are due to the iron core. The, these two losses due to iron core. Then third one is the mechanical loss, friction loss or vintage loss. This is due to the almost constant, these losses are almost constant. So the armature, first one copper loss, second one iron loss, third one mechanical loss. The second and third is almost constant, iron loss and mechanical loss are constant. Accordingly one more classification available, stray loss. The magnetic and mechanical losses together is called a stray loss. Magnetic loss and mechanical loss together is called as a stray loss. Now we will go for further classification. So we have one more constant loss. For example, sun field, sand and compound machine where the field current is constant. The sun field copper loss is almost constant. Only very less amount of current is flowing through the sun field winding but in series field winding full volt full current is flowing but in sun field only less amount of current is flowing it is not also varying 
So the stray loss along with the sent copper loss is called a constant loss or standing loss. It will not vary with the load. So that stray loss that is nothing but magnetic loss and mechanical loss. By adding sun field copper loss we can take it as a constant loss or a standing loss. Then we have variable loss available similar to the constant loss we have variable loss. As the load increases the armature current varies. The armature current is independent of the load is dependent on the load. So the armature copper loss varies with the load because I A square R A. If armature current increases, the loss will also increase. So, this depends upon the load. Therefore, armature copper loss is called a variable loss. All other losses are constant loss, right? So, that variable loss equal to armature copper loss. So, the total loss is nothing but constant loss plus variable loss. That is Wc plus Ia square into Ra. This is the constant loss and this one variable loss. Now, we will go to the power stage. So, here one more condition is given. Condition for maximum power developed is nothing but back EMF equal to V divided by 2. Applied voltage divided by 2. So, that will give the maximum power developed. Back EMF is created in the motor that should be equal to half of the applied voltage. Then we will get the maximum power developed. Similarly, the condition for maximum efficiency is armature copper loss equal to constant loss. This is nothing but variable loss. That is variable loss equal to constant loss. Just now we discuss what is variable loss, what is constant loss. If both are equal, we will get the maximum efficiency. Now, we will go to the power stages. So, the input to the motor is nothing but a electrical energy. Motor input is nothing but V into I L. Voltage is applied to the motor. Motor means the, the electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy. So, the input to the motor is the Supply, applied voltage V into I L, power is V into I L. So, immediately there is a armature copper loss will happen, the copper loss. With this applied voltage, some amount will be lost due to copper. Remaining will be power developed in the armature, E B into I A, right. Some part will be lost due to copper loss, the remaining will be available in the power developed in the armature. So, then the motor will start rotate. Right? When it is rotated, the rotational losses will happen. It is called a mechanical loss. The remaining is available as a motor output. So, the electrical energy is given. So, the field is the current is flowing through the field winding and armature winding. So, some copper loss will happen and power is developed in the armature. So, that the, it start rotates. Once rotated, the rotational losses will happen. Remaining will be available as a mo motor output. Motor output is nothing but rotation. So, based on that we have three different efficiencies available. Electrical efficiency, nothing but E B I A, output divided by input, E B I A divided by V into I L. This is the applied voltage, this is the power developed in the armature, E B I A divided by V into I L. Then mechanical efficiency is nothing but motor output divided by E B into I A. This is the power developed in the armature. This is what is the motor output we are getting. So, the overall efficiency is nothing but motor output divided by motor input. Motor input is V into I L. So, these are all three different efficiencies available. Now, we will see the diagram so that you are able to understand. So, the output divided by input E B I A divided by V into I L is nothing but electrical energy, electrical efficiency. Motor output divided by this power developed E B into I A that is called a mechanical efficiency. So, the motor output divided by motor input is nothing but the overall efficiency. So, in this video we discuss about the power stages of a DC motor along with that we discuss about the losses what are the losses available. Primarily there are three losses copper loss, iron loss and mechanical loss. Copper loss means loss happened due to the copper winding. The windings are made up of copper. So, the copper winding available in three places. Armature copper loss, sun field copper loss and series field copper loss. Then second one is the iron loss due to the mechanic due to the iron core. There is two losses available. Hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. Then the last one is the 
mechanical loss due to friction and vintage some losses will happen. Then again we have stray loss mechanical and magnetic loss together is called a stray loss. With that if you add the sun field copper loss the sun field copper loss is independent of the load if you add that that is called a constant loss. Then variable loss is nothing but armature copper loss the armature copper loss will vary according to the load increases if the load increases armature current will increase so armature copper loss also increases so that it is called a variable loss. So total loss is nothing but constant loss plus variable loss. Same thing can be used for the condition for maximum efficiency is constant loss equal to variable loss. So based on that we can see the power stages what are the stages the losses will happen and also we can see the efficiencies electrical efficiency mechanical efficiency and the overall efficiency. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive link is given in the description box thank you for listening